Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we gonna check out top 3 best telescopes. Starting at number 3, Orion Space Probe 130 Saint. Though not the best scope money can buy, the Space Probe is a solid mid-range contender. One reason for this is its respectable 130mm parabolic objective reflector. Assuming that viewing conditions are good, you should be able to get an excellent view of Jupiter's four largest moons and the rings of Saturn. Most beginner's telescopes, like the Mead Instruments Infinity and Skyr 600x 90mm, are of the alt Oz variety, which is perfectly fine for just looking around. Sometimes, however, when you found something especially nice to observe or you're waiting for the atmosphere to grant you a clear view, they make it difficult to keep your subject in view as it drifts across the sky. An equatorial mount, by contrast, allows you to slew your telescope along only one axis to keep studying it. It should be mentioned that some people find it difficult to aim the base at geographic north each time they want to go skygazing. In principle, though, this is no more difficult than getting the tripod horizontal using a spirit level, and practice quickly makes perfect. This mounting option also lets you take much better photographs. However, unless you're willing to spend $100 or so extra on a drive unit, you'll have to keep your target perfectly centered using the eyepiece and slow motion knob for as long as the exposure lasts. Check out the description for more information and latest price. Coming at number 2. Skywatcher Collapsible Dobsonian. Dobsonian telescopes are lovely in terms of how wide an aperture they offer at a low price, their ease of aiming, and their general simplicity. Unfortunately, when it comes to moving and storing them they're typically about as convenient as a small cow. These factors often make them inaccessible to people who would otherwise prefer Dobsonians over tripod-mounted telescopes. While not a perfect solution, allowing the body to telescope out to its full length when in use and collapse down to a more manageable length afterward, can save a lot of space in a car or closet. In this case, the tube is about 25 inches long in its storage position. This kind of mechanism leads to the tube having open sides when extended, while the paraboloid objective mirror shouldn't pick up any noticeable amount of light that's not getting in through the aperture, you can certainly expect more dust and dew to end up on it. You may want to sew together a kind of skirt for it from blackout material, which should take care of both problems at once. Though more expensive than the Orion Skiquist X-T8, the extra cash is not necessarily wasted. The base of the Skywatcher, although also made from particle board, seems to be a bit more solid, and the bearings turn much more smoothly. In terms of optical performance for a given aperture size, there's little to choose between them. Both also come in go-to drive versions, though people interested in this kind of scope will probably prefer to spend the money on extra accessories. Check out the description for more information and latest price. And number one of this list, Jumel Z130. The Z130 has a collimatable primary mirror and rotating tube rings. These tube rings allow you to rotate the tube to the most comfortable position for viewing and work well with heavy eyepieces. The extra half inch of aperture is a noticeable improvement compared to 114mm scopes, but it comes at a cost both financial and practical. The red dot finder for aiming works pretty well, but with 130mm of aperture a more serious 9x50 finder scope or reflex sight might be something you'll upgrade to eventually. The Z130 comes with both a 25mm and 10mm eyepiece, providing 25x and 65x respectively, but we recommend you get another eyepiece. A 6mm gold line would let you view the planets in high resolution, providing 108x and trust us, you want to see that. But even if you can't get that eyepiece right now, it's not a deal breaker. The Z130 blows its competitors away with or without the preferred eyepiece. The Zumel Z130 second's biggest drawback, however, is its weight, while 21 pounds isn't a lot for a telescope, finding a table sturdy and wide enough to hold it may be difficult. I have included this product links in the description. You can check out this link for more information and latest price. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel, leave a like and share with your friends.